Okay, what are you told? You're told a bullet is filed vertically from two meters above the ground with an initial velocity of 200 meters per second. Find a bullet's maximum velocity and minimum, I'm sorry, maximum height. So I want to point out that the bullet is, is two meters above the ground. It's going to go straight up. It's going to reach a maximum height over there and then come straight back down and then hit the ground and stop, hopefully. All right? So someone says, I wonder what the relationship is. They give it to you. Just take it. This is the relationship over here. Sorry about that. This is the relationship. All right? So what do I need to do? I need to take that relationship and start to differentiate it. All right? So let's go do that over there. And uh, I know it's difficult, but I want to write this down for you. So I'm going to write down S prime of T is going to be 200, let's see, minus 9.8 T, all right? Now I wanna point out the, uh, the bullet's fired and it's gonna to continue to move up and then it's gonna stop. So the question is when it stops, is that the maximum height? So when does it stop? It's when S prime, that's the velocity by the way, this is the velocity function, it's gonna stop when this thing becomes zero. And when does that happen? When 200 divided by 9.8 equals T. All right? And I'm kind of looking at that. I want to simplify a tiny little bit. Because it kind of disturbs me to look at a decimal on the bottom. And I get to multiply top and bottom by 10. And you would get 2,000 over 98. And then I start to realize I could reduce that to 1,000 over 49. And what's that gonna be in seconds, all right? So if this is an exam question, I would say it reaches its maximum height, max height, at 1,000 over 49 seconds. But their question is, what is the maximum height? Well, if it's an exam question, all I'd write down is this over here, S at 1,000 over 49 meters. That would be my answer. Let's look at the K, and they do have that written down over here, meters. What they did is they do a computation. I'm not expecting it, by the way, if it's an exam question. Just write that down over there. Now, someone says, I wonder what the, um, the maximum velocity is going to be. The maximum velocity is actually going to happen. Now, there is a muzzle velocity. Right, it's gonna go up. The muzzle velocity is uh, 200 meters per second, by the way. It's going up, boom, 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 boom. It stops there, it comes back down. And when it hits this position here, its velocity is actually 200 meters per second. Right, it's gonna pick up some speed as it goes towards the ground. So the speed's gonna be a slightly greater than 200 meters per second in the negative direction, by the way. So someone says, when does that occur? It occurs when S is zero. Right? So what I want to do, I want to get my eraser out, and I want to go through getting S to be zero now. All right? So when S is zero. So S is zero is when it hits the ground. So let's write this down. S is zero when it hits the ground. Hits the ground. Hits ground. So let's write this down. And what do you get over there? Oh, boy. Two plus... 200t minus 9.8t squared over 2. Boy, that looks problematic, doesn't it? So let's take a look at that. And that does look difficult, doesn't it? And it's going to be... Let's take a look at that. Oh, a tough one, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, and you would get 0, 4, plus 400 t minus 9.8 t squared. Oh boy, I guess I gotta do the quadratic formula, right? So let me just see if they did that, and I gotta do it, right? Let me write this over here. t equals, let's see, twice the a. So that's, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write it uh, without a negative uh, power. I'm going to set negative coefficient on the square term. So let's do, do that right now. Make it easier for quadratic. You get 0 equals 9.8 
t squared, uh, let's see, minus 400 t minus 4. And let's write the t down. There's going to be two of them, by the way. We'll talk about that in a second. So it's 2 times 9.8. Yes, you need a calculator to do some of the computations here. And then what do you get? Well, the opposite of b, which is 400. Let's see, plus or minus 400 squared minus 4 times a, which is 9.8, times c, which is minus 4. So I'm going to just, um, let me just get my, uh, I'll get a smaller eraser over here. And let me just erase this over here. So I'm going to say plus 16, right, because 4 times 4, right? And it's a negative number, so plus 16, uh, 4a, um, I lost track. Oh, 9.8, sorry. 4ac. All right. Now what do I note about this over here? I know that this number here, when I take the square root, is definitely bigger than 400. I'm not going to compute the number. I know it's bigger than 400. So I only have one possible answer. I need a positive t. So would the t be equal to? Well, the t, I'll write this down for you, is going to be 400 plus the square root of 400 squared plus 16 times 9.8 over 2 times 9.8 seconds. This is when it hits ground. All right? That's when it hits the ground. Now what do I got to do? I got to evaluate that. So I'm going to call this, I don't know, call it T1. And I'll just write it down. So S of T1 is going to be the speed when it hits the ground. Again, I'm not using a calculator, but if you were to use a calculator, this number here, uh, I'm sorry, I made another mistake over there. Sorry about that. At speed is gonna be S uh, prime, sorry about that, because we want the velocity. Uh, that would be zero, by the way. So VT, and where's VT? I think we wrote VT somewhere. Make sure I did that. Did I erase that? Yeah, I think I erased it. I'll put it back down for you. So VT is S prime of T is going to be 200 minus 9.8 T. All right, that's what VT is, or S prime. All right, so you'd have to do that computation. And the computation of this uh, number over here should be this thing over here. And if you do the computation on that, which is plugging in and up here, you should get minus 200. 0 0.098. Again, the exams, just leave it, you know, do your computations, but anything that requires a calculator, just leave it. Don't worry about the calculations, all right? That's it. Thank you.